Have you wrote a melody and you're not sure which chords to use? Or have you figured out a melody of an existing song and you'd like to try and fit some chords to it without looking it up first? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way to match chords to a melody. We're gonna take a really recognizable, simple, easy tune that you should hopefully know. And I'm going to go through the method that you could use to help you match chords to either your very own melody or one that you have figured out. So I'm gonna take you through the piano and I'm going to show you the melody I have chosen to demonstrate this with. We're going to do Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. I didn't want to pick one that was too modern. I'm going to do this in the key of C major to keep this simple. So if we go over the melody first. is written on the top screen there. So if you're trying to find chords to your own melody, it would be worth, if you haven't already, writing the notes of your melody down, because this should hopefully help with matching the chords, which we're going to do now. So I'm gonna keep this nice and simple. There's quite a few chords in Yellow Submarine, but we're just gonna do it at the start of every bar. So the first thing is deciding where you want the chords to be placed. And you, this is something you might change your mind with as you go along. You might decide you want more chord changes or less frequent. So we're just gonna start with the first beat of every bar. Because this is in the key of C major, we need to establish what the diatonic chords of C major are. So I have a whole separate video on, what, on diatonic chords, but I am going to explain it now anyway. So diatonic chords just mean the chords, the triad chords, that are formed in this shape as we go through the scale, the notes of C major. So C major doesn't have any black keys, it's all the white keys. So the first chord of C major is C, E, G. So C major, so let's call that chord one. If we move up, so D is the second degree of the scale of C major. So maintaining that triad shape where we miss a note each time. Here we have D minor. So as well, just quickly, just because it's a major scale doesn't mean all the chords in the scale are going to be major scale. You'll have a mixture of major, minor, and diminished. So here we have D minor. So D minor is the second chord. Going up again, we have another minor. We have E minor. So E minor, E, G, and B is the third chord. Going up again, we have F major. So F, A, C. So this is the fourth chord. Going up again, we have G major, so G, B, and D. So G major is going to be a very important chord. So the fifth chord is a very, very important chord in our music. The first chord and the fifth chord are very important. So G major we know is definitely, as well as C major, is definitely going to feature a lot. And then going up again, we have the sixth chord, which is going back to a minor chord. So that's A, C, and E. And the last one, which is the seventh chord, it sounds a bit off because it's diminished. So I've done a whole video on diminished chords as well. So B, D, F, we probably won't use the diminished. So the chords we're most likely going to use is the C major. So the first chord, the G major, which is the fifth chord. And we may use the fourth chord is very popular. And so is the second chord. So those are the, and the sixth chord. <laughs> so we will see. Now let's match those to the melody. So I'm gonna obviously play the chords in my left hand. I'm just gonna play them simply um, as triad chords in root position. 
So the melody to sub Yellow Submarine doesn't start on the first beat of the bar. So we have in the town. <laughs> so the G is the, f the first down beat, the first beat. And there's four beats in a bar. So we have one, two, three, four, one, like that. So G then, we need to find a chord to go with this note because this note falls on the first beat of the bar. We need to look at our diatonic chords from C major and basically what we're going to do, if the chord has a G in it, we're gonna try it out. So the chords that have a G in them, in the C major diatonic chords, is a C major, because we have a G there, a G major, because we have a G there, and an E minor, because we have a G in the middle. So we can trial all of those and you can see which one you like the sound of, basically. So we have, let's try C major first. And that does fit, obviously, but because I know the tune, I know it's not C major, but it could be C major, that would fit. You know, the first chord, that would, that would go very nicely. That is a possibility. Let's try E minor. Again, it fits, but it's it's not probably not right. Let's try G major. There we go. That sounds immediately. That sounds right. Okay. So first of all, we have G major. Right. Two, three, four. And the next note is going to be a C. So the chords that have a C in them, the C major. Immediately, that is probably the one that's going to be right. <laughs> C major. It could also be an F major, because there's a C there. And there's an A minor, because there's a C there. It's not an F, it's not the A minor. It was the first one, it definitely, definitely sounds better. So, so far we have G major, C major. Okay. So now D is going to be the next note of the first note of the next bar. So now let's have a look at which chords have a D in them. So we have D minor. So it could be D minor. It could be G major because there's a D there. That could sound all right. But I think maybe the fact that it ends on an A makes it sound a bit off. Or what is the other one that has a D in? It's not gonna be B diminished, I can tell you now. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, just sounds a bit off. So it's probably going to be D minor. And then we're back to the D, which is definitely the G. So the reason why I went straight to the G there is because the fifth chord is a very good leading chord. You would use a fifth chord at the end of a phrase or a section, um, but not at, usually at the end of a piece of music. You can if you want it to sound unfinished, but at the fifth chord will make something sound like it has to continue. <laughs> so it's not a resolving chord. That is like the end of the section. So the chords we have used then, so far G major, which is the fifth chord. We start with the fifth chord, and then we have C major, which is the first chord. We have D minor, which is the second chord, and then it goes back to G major again, the fifth chord again. So if I just play now with the left hand, the verse, so. the chorus next. So the chorus starts on a G. So we could have again a C or a G or an E minor. It's probably not E minor so we're not going to use that. So it's, it's between the C and the G. I think the C 
sounds better. We've just had the G chord at the end of the verse. So going into the root makes it sound a bit more satisfying as the starts of the chorus. So we'll go with C. So we have and then the E is the start of the next one but the melody this is interesting because the E is so it's like a passing note so it's really what we need although E is the start of that of the bar beat one of the bar D really is the dominant note and probably the note we should focus on matching a chord to rather than the E. Although we're going to be playing the chord with the E, almost, it almost acts like a little suspension. I think G sounds better there, so we're going to use the fifth chord. So, D. I think G again. And then back to C, with C major probably. Yeah. So in the chorus we're only using the first chord and the fifth chord, which is very typical. So if I play the chorus all together now. found that useful and you have a much better understanding and idea of how to place and match chords. This is obviously a nice simple way that's fairly foolproof. If you'd like to know more about chords I have dozens of videos on them now so the playlist is linked down below so go and check those out. If you would like to support this channel you could subscribe, you could comment, you could like the video and I'd love if you could follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. I also have Bite Size Piano merch, this is one of the designs here so if you're interested in those, t-shirts, hoodies, bags etc, lots of different awesome colours, the link is down below as well. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video, bye bye! So that's the end of this video. If you would like to leave a request, leave them in the comments section below of this video. I've also left some videos here that I think you might like, so go and check those out as well. I also have a course. Visit bitesizepianocourse.co.uk and you can enrol and start learning how to read music. I'll see you in the next video.